Mike and Sheree, Paul Gaston's girlfriend, tells me he was playing with her kids and then hid one of them with that BB gun, so she called police. Tonight, she asked for her identity to be protected, so her voice is altered and you won't see her face. I don't think he deserved to be shot. Paul Gaston's girlfriend called 911, not realizing less than an hour later he would be dead. She says Gaston hit her daughter with a pellet gun. They were scared, so police were called. Gaston had already left when police arrived, but a short time later, he crashed his car into this pole on Budno and Harrison. Police confronted him, and investigators say Gaston failed to comply with officers' commands. He had been drinking, and he had just had an accident. I'm not trying to justify him not listening, but I'm pretty sure that played a major role in it. Earlier in the day, Gaston spent the final hours of his life at a Westwood hair salon. I just can't believe that I met somebody and hours later, they're dead. The 37-year-old had been putting up drywall and installed new floors here. But the owner, who didn't want to show her face, says he wasn't his usual friendly self. And I smell liquor on him. So I asked him, like, have you been drinking? He was like, yeah, I've been drinking since 7 o'clock this morning. Hours later, she saw his truck with the building supplies on the news. Now, they're trying to grasp how things went out of control so fast. It's sad. That's sad. It happens so quick. Like, you'd be surprised how you're here one day, gone the same day. I couldn't believe it, and I think I'm still in shock. I don't know. I just still can't believe it. Now, everybody tells me Gaston was a cool guy who liked to joke around and loved his family. I'm also told he leaves behind a four-year-old daughter. Reporting live, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5.